Paris Saint-Germain got back to winning ways just three days after finishing with two league draws. Laurent Blanc made six changes, but Javier Pastore kept his place to fire them ahead 80 minutes in against Gangon. The Bretons shipped six on their last visit to the Parc des Princes, but stayed in the game. That was until the 76th minute when Jonas Losso once again denied Zlatan Ibrahimovic, but spilled into the path of the on-Russian and grateful Angel Di Maria for his first league goal. Even after a performance that saw the Swede provide two assists, it looked like not being Ibra's night in front of goal, and then two touches from his right boot later, and he was finally up and running for the season as PSG continued to lead from the front in Liga. Christophe Galtier Saint Etienne extended their unbeaten run in all competitions to nine by seeing off Ligue 2 champions Trois. Fifth straight league win for Lever was secured by the unfortunate but brilliant finish from Thomas Ayes. Fortunate, but it was into the defenders' own goal. Gazalek Ajaxio began the day rooted to the bottom of the table, but were minutes away from a first ever top flight win after Mohamed Larbi's free kick was allowed to nestle into the corner. The second league and goal, and first at the stand, Ange Casanova. But before the final was a former Bastia striker, Giovanni Sio made a scoring return to burst the bubble. Lyon have not won without injured playmaker Nabil Fekir since the start of last season, but it was another academy graduate who set them on their way. Teenager Aldo Kalulu with a memorable goal on his full league and debut against a Bastia side, staring at a fourth straight defeat. And last season's other headliner Alexander Lacazette may be short on goals, just one so far, but Quarantine Tolisso opened his account for the season to seal a first home win of the season against 10 men from Corsica. Angers and Reims clashed at the Stade Jean Bouin, and it was Johnny Placide who starred as the side from Champagne managed to avoid a second defeat of the season. Reims lost captain Icy Mandy to injury as Placide continued to frustrate Angers, who had to settle for a point. Fresh from two straight victories, Sylvain Ripple's Lorient were on the win trail again at home to Cannes when Benjamin McCanjo scored for the second week running. Lorient brimming with confidence and Majid Juarez redirected Didier Ndong's effort into the net past the despairing Remy Vakutre for a 2-0 win. Well, it may have been raining men in the Weather Girls 1983 Classic, but it was goals that were pouring down at the Allianz Riviera. It was Bordeaux who got it underway as Yaroslav Plessel struck six minutes in. From then on, it was all Nice. And there, Germain's inch-perfect header took his tally to four, matching last season's tally for Monaco already. Bordeaux had won on their last three visits to the south coast. They found themselves 2-1 down at the break thanks to Mikael Le Bian's first goal for the club. Willy Sagnol's Girondin were on a winless run of eight away from home in the league. And after the sending off of Enzo Crivelli, followed a minute later by Nicolas Payo's own goal. 3-1 and Bordeaux fell apart as Hatton Ben Arfer took over. His first, the simplest of tap-ins, which he was happy to take an age. And after spending almost a year on the sidelines due to playing for three clubs since signing for Newcastle, he then cracked a beauty into the bottom corner. That wasn't the end of the misery for Bordeaux. Alexander Mendy got the sixth, 20th and biggest win against Bordeaux at home in Nice's history after thrashing Gangon 7-2 last season. 6-1 dished out to the Girardin this season. We'll bottom the table at kickoff with just a single point following their worst ever start to a season. Montpellier were looking to put a smile back on their beleaguered fans' faces. Daniel Congre started the healing process. Monaco lost 3-2 to Lorient at the weekend and were in danger of a second consecutive defeat when Guido Carrillo turned into his own net. Montpellier had chances for a third but were punished for not doing so as Fabio Contrao halved the deficit. Leonardo Jarim's principality side had their tails up and Montpellier's defence went to sleep, the ball crossing the entire box to the feet of Thomas Lamar, who made no mistake. From five minutes into stoppage time, Fabinho drove a dagger into the hearts of the hosts to leave them pointless. 3-2. Well, it wouldn't be Marseille without some drama. Having not lost a Toulouse for eight years, OM came close when Martin Braithwaite turned on Adrian Regatan's shot for his fourth of the season. Three red cards were dished out prior to sub Michi Batshuayi's late leveller, which grabbed a point for 10-man Marseille and deny 9-man Toulouse. Well, Week 7 provided 24 goals in nine fixtures played out this midweek. Lille will catch up come next Tuesday when they face Nantes. 
knee stumped gang on 7 2 last season. Bordeaux's turn for a doing. The Paris Saint Germain remain top of the pile, but Saint Etienne are in close proximity, just a point adrift. Rennes are the surprise side to make up the podium, with Lyon part of a four team strong contingent on 12 points. Well, despite a better first half performance, Montpellier ended their match with nothing and a point for Gazalek Ajaxio. Just denied a first ever Ligue 1 win and a point above with Trois hovering a further one ahead. Well, Lille and Nantes will come out of a week's hibernation against Reims and Champions PSG respectively. Saint-Étienne will hope by Sunday night they can go top if the Canaries can pull off a shock. While Rennes will fancy staying on the podium with a home game against Trois.